This is Semperfy 1918 and uh, making a review on the Pentax K50. This one right here, I scored it with this, the box, the cords, and one battery, one charger, and then this ProMasters, uh, you can see ProMasters AF. Uh, 35 to 28 millimeter. So, anyways, so this is what came with it. But I ended up having originally, I uh, got with a different camera. I got the 7210. This is the F series. I love the F series. I know a lot of people think they're ugly or whatever, but I love them. So, anyways, this one came free. And this one right here, the 3570 came with my other camera the sf10 that i got and then i ended up upgrading i got a newer card or another card i had 16 gigabyte well i changed that to a 256 so that's good there uh i also got the two by on another um yeah this is a two by auto uh yeah two by on another camera that i got but then I got the 50, which I ended up getting this one, and another lens, which that other lens uh, doesn't work, but I love the 50. The 50's got a good, um, it's got, it's the 1.7, not the 1.4, but still, it's a really nice one. I ended up paying a little bit more for it, because I got the two lenses, plus the camera in a bag for 100 bucks, which kind of sucks that I spent more than what I wanted for it, but that's, but it is what it is. It's harder to find these the way they are. Um, then I ended up also with another group of stuff that I got. I got the 2880 for in my bag, as well as this one is the 100 to 300. So I have this one as well. Now you're probably going to say, well, that's a lot for in your kit. Well, yeah, it is a lot in my bag. But like I said, I picked up two more, or I picked up one more card. I picked up uh, two more batteries and a charger. And then, what else did I get? Oh, and then the bag I got. This is a smaller bag, which I ended up picking up, I think, for like 10 or 15 bucks on the, uh, uh, yeah, you have to forgive me. I'm using my bed right now at the moment because of my table that I have that I use um, is <laughs> full of stuff that I have to clean off so i'm using this as my review table for the moment so forgive me on that but anyway so the bag here so i like it because it's got room in here for all the stuff and then another pocket here for other stuff as well um so there's that now with the pentax k50 i was watching one of the videos and so the 30 and the 50 you have a bunch of stuff in there i they said that this one had issues with the uh, black and dark photos, but I, when I first got it, I checked it out, and yeah, sure, it made some dark photos, but then I had to check in to see how and why, and lo and behold, I just had to change some settings out and fix some stuff on it. Granted, this one's white. I would would have preferred a black one, but that's okay. So, anyways, so... I love it. I like it. It's got the uh, flash up on top, but I also got another flash for it um, and a box of flashes that I have with it. And then I also have a couple of these to wipe the screen off and stuff, which is good. And then I bought a cleaning kit for it and all that other stuff too. Um, yeah, I've taken probably a couple hundred photos now and I've gotten it tuned in pretty good so I can do pretty well. Um, what else? So yeah, it, it's pretty good. And then when you get the focus in right, once you're able to do that, it's fantastic. That's all I gotta say is I like the bokeh and I love on how sharp the images are. So you don't have to have a brand new one, but you know, and then that's the other thing too is when I got it, I didn't know how many uh, photos there are. You can go online and it'll tell you to throw up a, preferably a JPEG or one that has less than 10 megabytes or not, meg yeah, megabytes of... Uh, um, for the file for the uh, picture so I ended up finally finding one site that was only able to tell me the picture count or you know the shutter count not the make make of the year and all that stuff which there are other sites for that though 
But the nice thing with this is it only has like 1,200 for the shutter count, which I was astounded. I was like, wait a minute, 1,200? That's it? So, yeah, not bad. Not bad for being an older camera because I think this one, this series, the K50, was made from 2013 to 2016, if I'm not mistaken. I would have preferred the K1 or the K3, but I can't beat the uh, beat it with the stick. Like with this one, I got it for 100 bucks. So, yeah, I know I spent more on some of the other stuff, but that's okay. So, all in all, I still am underneath 300 bucks, I think, with everything. So, just got to go out there, look for the deals and all that stuff, and there you go. There you have it. So, that's my uh, Pentax uh, K50 review. I know it's short and quick, sweet and simple, but I'll have to break it down a little bit later, show you guys a little bit more stuff with it, how I use my tripod and everything else. But, uh, keep on, keep on, like, subscribe, and, uh, comment down below. Semperfy1918 out.